Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and as you can see on the screen, another MDT 2013 video for you guys. I think the last time, the last time that we were together, uh, we imported an operating system, uh, and then we also imported an application, and we imported Skype, and we shot up a command to our Skype application to install silently with no restart. So we're we're good. We're good with the application. Hopefully you guys haven't have any or don't have any problems at all importing applications and setting it up. Again, if you guys do have problems, let me know. Uh, leave a comment right below. Uh, so and we imported uh, our 64-bit operating system. And now out of the box. Now out of the box is a really, really picky topic uh, the way that I normally deal with out of a box I, again I love creating folders and the way that I create my folders is by the model of the workstation or laptop that I'm dealing with uh, because I'm doing everything on a virtual machine I really don't need a don't really need drivers at all but the number one driver that you would need for your out of box driver node is your NIC driver if you do not have the NIC driver for the specific device that you're going to be booting to or pixie booting which is going to be done in a future video guys on how to pixie boot using your NDT using WDS which is your Windows deployment services within your server 2012 I, I mean you guys WDS and MDT works hand in hand it's like peanut butter and jelly trust me it will make your life easier um, I like creating folders based on the model of the devices that I'm going to be deploying the, the OS to. The reason why is because later on, when it comes down to the task sequence or when you do a little bit of SQL database, which I'm going to show you guys, you can have the deployment a little smart, saying indicating if a certain device like a Latitude D630 is being deployed, only push these drivers out to it. Okay, if you don't have that kind of logic into your deployment, what's going to happen is all the drivers that you import into your out of box drivers node is going to be pushed out to your machine. It's 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 basically considered bloat bloatware, and you don't want that stuff. So you would like to have some logic with your MDT 2013 server. Okay, so I'm going to put let's say latitude. Uh, M6500 because this is the kind of laptop that I'm using to host all this stuff and I'm gonna hit next and next finish and there it goes and I'm gonna right click this folder and I'm gonna import the drivers and my destination would be my share folder that I have and here it goes and again depending on what operating system you're pushing out make sure you pick the right NIC drivers for your uh, model now this specific model this uh, latitude m6500 doesn't come with windows 8 the processor is not going to support windows 8 it only supports windows 7 again i'm doing everything on a virtual machine so i'm just going to show i'm showing you guys how this stuff works okay uh so i'm going to pick this and this option is if you have duplicates it would, this will allow you to have duplicate existing drivers in your uh, out of a box drivers node. I don't recommend checking this off because you don't want duplicates to be uh, within your MDT deployment share. That's just gonna, you know, take space. You don't, you guys don't want that. We hit next. Gives you a nice little summary. Hit next. And what's gonna happen is only gonna import whatever it needs. The I the INF files are very important. That's what it's actually being imported, and that's the information it's gathering and shooting it into your deployment. I'm going to hit finish, and if we go inside our folder that we created, as you can see, it gathered two 64-bit NIC driver uh, files. And if we go to our deployment share, which is computer C drive for us, this is this is what I've been doing for the video. And we will go into, I believe, out of box drivers, Nick, and there it goes. This is the one that we imported. Cool. And that's about it, guys. That is how you import 
your NIC drivers. Uh, if you double click on one of them, just make sure it has the correct platform. I've seen problems with it's you actually import a 64 bit and it switches to 86. That I don't know if that's only for a 2012 and 2010 MDT environment, but I haven't seen that with 2013 yet. But just make sure that it's 64 and details. You know, this is just the basic information. And that's about it, guys. That's that's about it with out of box drivers. That's that's my best practice. I love creating folders depending on the models that I am pushing out. This operating systems, uh, the number one driver that you should have is a NIC driver embedded inside your deployment share. And the reason why is because if you guys are going to be using WDS to do pixie booting, you have to have the correct NIC driver for your deployment share to talk to your device if not it's not going to pixie boot you're not going to be able to get into your mdt 2012 and deploy that awesome awesome operating system that you built for your company so hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions or you have any best practices with out of the box drivers node within any mdt version 2010 2012 or 2013 let me know i'm always always willing to learn new things about the out of box drivers i've talked to people with different approaches of this and it's always negative and is always positive but i want to hear what you guys think about uh, the out of box drivers uh best practice approach of it this is my approach but what's yours uh leave it at the comment section hopefully i hear from you guys uh and don't forget about hitting that like button before you go and i catch you guys on the next mdt 2012 video peace out